Six moves of the spine with the leg extended. This makes a wonderful warm up for my moon salutation sequence that moves folks side to side on the mat. We'll start in table pose with one leg extended out. So I'll take my right foot over toward the camera. I keep my toes facing forward. Already I feel a stretch in my inner thigh muscles. And I'll do some cats and cows from here with the recognition that I may not have as much room in my pelvis to go one way or to go both ways. Interesting lesson in self-awareness. And if your students want to compare this with the straight up cat and cow, you can always have them tick the leg back in and then send it back out. If the lesson is that there may be some constricted movement with the leg extended, they might find there's more freedom of movement to twist into thread the needle with the leg extended. Hand forward, elbow down. Because my pelvis is already angled into the twist, I feel like I can get my hand a lot higher up. And that gives some room to explore through the shoulder, maybe to draw some semicircles or looping actions, and eventually to really lift up and let gravity coax me into more of a twist. After several breaths here, hand comes down, hand comes up. We walk over away into a reverse gate pose. Here's a side view of what that would look like. In this gate pose, you can play with movement of the arm, holding the head, turning the head, any actions that feel good. Then bring your students back down to center. And of course, do the same on the other side, leg extended cat and cow, leg extended threading the needle, and leg extended as you come into your reverse gate.